Alright, so I've written two things down here so far, and one is to remind you that when you have a unit circle, a circle with a radius of one, then the sine of whatever your angle is, is the y coordinate on that unit circle. And if you do sine of 90 degrees, you know that you're going to get a y coordinate of 1. By the way, that also tells you that the cosine of 90 degrees is 0 because we know the coordinates of that point right there um, are 0 comma 1 when you've gone 90 degrees. So if you have an angle that's 90 degrees like that. So the sine of 90 degrees is 1 <clears throat> and um, this problem requires that we know the maximum but will it ever get bigger than 1? Well, no, because any other point on this circle has a y-coordinate that's less than 1. So the biggest you're ever going to get is 1, and that happens when you have the sine of 90 degrees. Now, we know that the sine of theta has its maximum when you use 90 degrees for theta. Now, they asked about y is equal to sine of 2x, so what I did is I changed it to theta by saying if theta is equal to 2x, then y is equal to sine of theta. Um, and we know that sine of theta reaches its maximum when it's equal to 1. So the next thing we should write then is sine of theta has to equal 1. And we'll try to figure out what theta has to be. Well, from this example, we just figured out theta has to be 90 degrees. But they asked for the answer for x. So we got to remember that we let theta equal 2x. So let's go ahead and replace theta back with 2x. So we know that 2x would have to equal 90 degrees. Well, what would x have to equal? Well, let's divide both sides by 2. So x has to equal whatever 90 over 2 is, which is 45. But that's not one of the answers, because we want an answer in radians. But how do you get an answer in radians? You multiply by pi over 180 degrees, so the degrees cancel out. And 45 and 180 can become a 4 on the bottom. So your answer is pi over 4.